And so then our book talks to us about these five business issues that we need to be looking out for whenever we are thinking about writing uh, a good contract. And then we have control issues, because where there is risk, then you want to find a way to control that. And so that is the way that we uh, diminish the, uh, as much as we can, any risk that may come about. And so we'll see uh, more of how this is going to lead us into our exercise 25-1. Okay, so now I'll deal with my first sentence. So what did we come up with over here? Do we have any issues at all here that were of concern? But we didn't see any money issues. No. We don't have any money issues? Well, I mean, we, we see like the sale part. Right. We weren't sure what those issues would necessarily be with. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, so who's who's the uh, the the seller? Right. Okay. So don't you want to pin pin this broker down and make her do all the work she can do to get you a great price? Yeah. Yeah. So you want to try to see what you can do to negotiate to try to get her to come in with a firm, uh, you know, amount uh, listing, you know, like remember. Uh, you know, he started off at six million, and then he's realized, oh, I, I might need to come down a little bit. Yeah. So, you know, on the one hand, you may be better, you know, better off, you know, going ahead and having that broker to tell you, you know, what kind of listing. Mm -hmm. And then, don't you want to know what your five percent is going to be based on? Yeah. As the broker. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, five percent commission. But I just that's the next sentence. I guess we thought it would be like more an issue for the next sentence. Uh, or should we have done it over? Uh, well, it could be. It could be. Yeah, you're right. You're right. All right. So, what other kind of issues do you have then? Um, In this sentence, you're right. We had for risk that the broker could not be honest about the day that he signed the letter. Okay. Uh, okay. So how? So what do you do? Um, you could have. You could say that there has to be a notary there. Okay. When the letter signed. Okay. That's one way. You could put like a, a maximum date. Like mm -hmm. you had when you had until like this certain mm -hmm. day to sign it. Yes. Or you could even change this and say, uh, up on receipt of this signed letter you or, you know mm -hmm. you could change it in that way or so there is definitely a uh, control uh, risk issue there and you can control it but what else do you have there well it was um, so it was risky the way it was worried it was risky for the broker because the owner may not agree to like a sale because like there's no language in here about like what constitutes a sale so what if if i was the owner i said oh well, i don't want to sell it to this person but the broker came with this option mm -hmm. yes okay so sale mm -hmm. uh so it's like i grant exclusive right beginning of the day but like for example what if the risk is that the that i didn't accept it but I said, I don't want to sell to this person. I want to find somebody else to sell it to. Okay, okay. So. That could be something as well. What else is there? Um, we said for endgame that there's no statement as to what would happen after the three months are over. Okay. If there's like a, a broker or if a buyer isn't found, there's no um, like option to renew it or it doesn't say like what would happen. Okay. Well, let me ask you this. When it says sale of my apartment, sometimes, look, let's say if I came over to your house and I said, I'll give you, you give me $500, I'll paint your house. And the next day I come back and you say, you say, deal. The next day I come.
come back and we have a house on Smith Street and we also have a house on Brown Street. I'm over there painting your house on Brown Street. And you meant the house on Smith Street. It says sale of my apartment. Which apartment? We need, we have a, a problem with, in the standards here. The, we need a rule, a declaration, a definition that will definitely tell us what apartment we're talking about. Don't we want to have that? Uh, that's going to be a standards issue right there. And then what about here? Remember earlier we had somebody who wanted to have exclusivity? That's a little risky, don't you think? Uh, you know, what if he just does nothing for three months? Uh, what about here, three months, how do we define that? I don't know. I might say 90 days from the date that I received this letter. Or how is it that we determine, you know, by signing this letter of agreement, what if you just hold on to it for about a week or a month? You know, there are some things here that we, it's a little loosey-goosey in here. Some standards that we need to firm up a little bit in there. But yes, very good. All right. So there are some things, you know, we might need to go back into the deal table and deal a little bit more, tighten up some things. Let's define this, which apartment, you know. Maybe we want to put a listing, go ahead and hold that broker to a listing price. Uh, uh, it, uh, when I say listing, what I'm saying here is you have the exclusive right to act as my broker. Okay, so what are you going to do? Remember, um, he, uh, Lewis, I think his name is, is, you know, is that going to be, what are you going to do? Are you going to, you know, do any marketing? Or, you know, what is act as my broker? What does that mean? I mean, some, just some things, I'm just giving you some ideas of the kind of things we need to be thinking about when we are, uh, those issues. That's how we learn how to think about writing a good contract. Yes, ma'am. When you're doing a contract for a specific employment situation like broker mm -hmm. how much do you rely on good faith to define like the standard of that industry for a broker as oh. opposed to laying out like what a broker does every time okay well you can you can that might not and you know these are just some ideas mm -hmm. you're you're right i could just let this just mean what it means you know in the industry act as my broker and you know but and just to get, it may be that it's a market now where we need, mm -hmm. I need you to define exactly what you're going to do. You're going to put out a full page ad or, you know. Right. Yeah. So it's, it, you, I mean, it, it, it's, there's some room. It's discretionary. It's discre it really is discretionary. It depends on what your client's goals are. Right. Okay. They just, they just want to sell it. Then. But if you really want to go for top value, then you may need to put some definitions in there so you don't have a person that's just sitting around for three months right. doing who knows what. Okay. Uh, so it just depends mm -hmm. on, on the market and what the goals are. Let's go on to number two. Who had number two? Yes. All right. We said that for money, there is no assurance of payment for the 5% after of the sales price. Okay. So no assurance is included. Um, the, there's no timing of the payment. That's okay. Left vague. Okay. And what else is it? You, you saying you're talking about money issues? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And again, we don't know what that five percent is based on because we just don't. We don't have a listing price. Right. right. Uh, what else? Yeah, we were saying that they there's no listed minimum or maximum you must go for right. in order to achieve the five percent. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you have any other uh, issues of the money? Um, yes. Um, yeah, so we thought um, there was a lot for risk. Um, Where? Like, let's see. The maximum. Oh, wait. Yeah. yeah, for risk. Let me, let me go back to the last page. Okay. So, 
so say that again. Yeah, so for under risk, there again, there is no maximum or minimum that needed to be achieved before mm -hmm. he gets the 5% payment. So what? there's risk to the owner of the home. Okay. Apartment. What else is going to create risk here in this sense? Look here. Um, well, we don't know who has been identified already. So how do we control that? We can ask him to give us a list maybe That's of right. exactly the you need to know. We need to know, yes. yes. Put that in there because then you can't come back later on and say, oh, I already had that person. Right. 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 Also, we thought it was risky um, that they didn't um, explain what a prospective purchaser could be. Like, does that mean they've been inside the apartment? Does that mean they've literally just called and asked about it? Does Absolutely. Does that mean they've made an offer? Right. Absolutely. So these are things, and then this is a risk, and so we need to control that. And then to control that, then we need to probably have some type of a rule or a standard, you know, that will define exactly how to uh, solidify that particular issue. All right. What about number three? So, Very good. Um, for money, just to determine, like, who's going to pay for this set please. It's kind of small, but... Okay. This <laughs> is <laughs> every little nickel. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Or, like, if they're lo like if the set of keys is lost. Okay. Okay, what else? What else do we have? Um, so for risk, I think this could have been risk or control, but what can he do with the keys? I mean, how, like, can he just use the keys to go up in the apartment whenever? Can he? Can right. He, yeah, he I mean, you just let your people. brand come and have a party. Right. the thing is, like, are you doing this like a lockbox where anyone can come, or are you doing it where he brings the keys? Right. And this could, I mean, if that's the case, then this could also be a money issue if something were to go wrong in there. Right. Okay. Uh, oh, well, it, also, what else, what else do you have? Maybe I'm just, this will be pushing it if you got this one. Well, you mean for as far as all of them go? Well, do, did we, you have an end game? Yeah, well, we put, it doesn't give any indication of what will happen, like if the apartment sold, what the keys, or at the end of the three months, like how are you returning the keys? Or? Right, as exactly. Yeah. That's an in-game issue. We need to know, we need the keys back. Yeah. Okay? All right. Number four. Number four. Um, so we determined um, there was a risk in terms of um, the vagueness of sufficient notice. Mm -hmm. um, right. And, um, Kind of whether uh, how to determine whether there has been notice, like if there should be like confirmation by the owner, a notice has been given. Okay. We set up a time frame for the notice. Absolutely. Um, as a 24-hour period. Absolutely. With um, confirmation. And what else? Uh, like, so for sufficient, we determined to instead of be reasonable notice. Okay. Um, so reasonable under the circumstances. Okay, they're gonna and they're gonna do twenty four hour notices, but then we don't want them coming at twelve o'clock in at in, in midnight. You know, we want to set some parameters on the time of day. Um, yeah, so we determined we uh, said that if there was advanced twenty four hour notice was not feasible, then it's up to the owner's discretion to allow that specific entry into the home. Okay, okay, and now but then I've got to keep in mind that that's going to create a risk for the seller because, he, you know, you got to, you know, give a little to get a little. So that's, those are just little things to think about. Number five. So in regards to money, it doesn't state if it also covers purchasers that have already been identified or only to the prospective buyers that Best brings in. And it also does not state if insurance from either Best or the seller would help cover the cost of repair or replacement. Right. For um, risk, we identified that there is a risk of a potential buyer damaging the apartment, but yes. at the same time, if you want the exclusive broker, or if you want the exclusivity at the same time, like the risk is kind of not as likely to occur, so you might not really put a lot of emphasis on that in order to keep the deal alive. But what can we do, though? What can we have the broker to do to, what's that N word again? Mitigate. To mitigate our risk, we can have that broker to have what? Insurance. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally kidding. <laughs> <laughs>